Okay, future Megan cutting in. I realized I didn't really film an intro or anything, so really quickly. So for my child development class, um, an assignment was to take home for the weekend these real care babies. And they basically just like go off and cry and then you gotta do different things to make them stop crying. <coughs> and I know these like other schools do this too. So if you are gonna do this or you are doing it, stay tuned to the end and I'll give you a bunch of tips and tricks. That I have learned because this is like the version 3 I think I don't really know if there's a big difference between any of them but I have definitely learned some tips and tricks to help finish do everything better stay tuned excuse me sorry he's being a needy because I shooed him away after he was biting my robot baby so I kicked him out so it's Friday and I got my robo baby and it turns on in like 10 minutes, so I got 10 minutes of peace, but y'all wanna see? Y'all wanna see his outfit? Oh, dude, no, Jedi. So this is Miles, Miles Morales. I gave him this onesie and red socks. So he kind of is like sporting a Spider-Man inspired look and he's pretty cute. So we'll, we'll, we'll see how, we'll see how it goes. 10 minutes, let's do this. This is why we can't have nice things, little man. This is why we can't have nice things. So we're about an hour, sorry, this the baby's flashing you. We're about an hour into this process and it's gone off like, I don't know, four-ish times. First time I didn't know what to do, the second time it needed to be fed, third time it needed to be changed, and now it's just doing this, which either means it needs to be burped or it needs to be rocked or it's just being fussy. So I'm not really doing well, I'm just gonna do this all at the same time. If 10 minutes go by, I'm just gonna like, resort to rocking it because my arms hurt so bad. Wish me luck again. <laughs> Shh. Um, no, it's fine. I can't hear me. A half an hour later, like literally this started going off at like a little bit before six and now it's 627. Finally did the little coo thing and then shut up. So we good. I had a solid 10 minutes of silence. Then it started crying and needed to be fed. At least this is kind of like a chill thing. I can kind of just hold it like this and just like do my own thing, but Still, be less needy, man. Here's where Jedi sleeps. Here's where I'm gonna sleep. And here's where Miles sleeps. It's kinda dark, but we are all good. We're gonna lay on the floor tonight. Usually I sleep in a loft bed, but we're gonna have to sleep on the floor tonight. And it's just gonna be a grand old sleepover. Hopefully we can actually sleep. I think Miles is sleeping right now because he's doing like the steady breathing and he hasn't cried in like an hour. So, just me and you, Jedi. <laughs> he does not like Miles. Okay, so I didn't really record anything last night or today or any point at all because I was learning about how to handle this all because it's a lot of work. So I'm going to try to remember to record everything today, not today, tonight and tomorrow because right now it's Saturday night and I have it till 6 o'clock on Sunday. I'm sorry, it sounds like I'm dying. I'm trying to whisper so that people don't like kill me and I'm probably going to be sounding like this the entire night because I don't want to wake anybody, even though nobody's sleeping right now, I will be whispering a lot. So, it's a lot like last night. Miles is sleeping right there. I prefer when he sleeps on like a pillow with a blanket, but I was just rocking him. Now he's actually sleeping because he's breathing. That's how you can tell she he's sleeping. But here I was rocking him before so that he could burp. So that's why he's in his stroller thingy. Not the stroller, his carrying case. And I'm chilling here with my pillow and my blanket on the floor and then next to me is my doggy. He's he's very supportive. He totally doesn't glare at me at 3 a.m. being like, Megan, please get that thing to shut up. Totally doesn't get spooked by the cooing that it makes. He's a very, very good boy. So let's see if I remember to record things.
I'm gonna try the bottle first. Nope. Okay, now we change it before it screams too much. Hold on, I need two hands for this. And that's what it needed. So I've kind of done an awful job of recording every single time it goes off. I wanted to have like a cool log throughout the night. I'm just so tired. Like when it wakes me up, I'm just in a daze and I suck at recording it. And then the rest of the day today, I've done really nothing. Um, I'm really bad at catching it, recording it. So I am very sorry for that. This video is not really what I thought it would be. I thought it'd be really fun and like really con like a lot of content, but I am awful, so it's not like that. It's also kind of hard to record it because like when it goes off, your initial instinct is like quick, scan it, take care of it before it starts screaming even louder. So it's kind of hard to like start recording. We've got about an hour left if it turns off at six. I'm gonna try to catch every single time it goes off. No promises, I'm gonna do my best. <laughs> That was my attempt of catching this time. <laughs> it did not work out very well. Miles has been sleeping all afternoon, which is weird because he slept all night too. He woke up like three times, no twice. He woke up like twice and he's back in this outfit. Did I ever show you what outfit? Yeah, an outfit of the day thing. OOTD. I, I put him back in this outfit with little red socks. Um, he's doing well. I'm kind of sad that the hour is almost up. It's gonna be a sad parting. It just. I liked being needed, you know, um, grown attached to him, so I'm gonna be pretty sad when he turns off. So we're gonna try to savor this hour. He is a sleepy boy. I had to feed him like three times this morning though, which is a lot, and rock him and stuff. He was pretty needy this morning. He's really needy in the mornings in general. I don't know how the rest of the like, cause each doll, I don't know, each baby has their own programming. So each of them have different like sleep cycles and like, times that it'll go off so either he's I don't know how he is compared to the other ones he might be good he might be average he might be bad but he's pretty good compared to what I thought he'd be like so I hope I see you guys again Miles um this is a weird request but please cry I just changed his diaper right then maybe he'll need feeding again I don't know but the worst is rocking because that's just him crying while you rock him back and forth Miles, you're an adorable little pain in the butt <laughs> Not mile, miles. I apologize for my shirt clashing the baby. This is a weird, it's 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 weird, but like, look at that stripes. With that t-shirt, uh, no thank you. So they were supposed to turn off at um six, and I after that last cry, I didn't hear any crying or anything, so um, after six, it made the little cooing sound, which it did when it first turned on, and I was like, okay, sweet, it's off. So I went to go take a shower, and thankfully it didn't go off again when I was showering, but, um, it went off when I was getting dressed, so I had to like quickly get undressed, get not undressed, finish getting dressed, and like go to take care of it. Which was that was like past six. It was like right before seven. So what I've deciphered is that the way it's programmed, it was programmed to go off like to finish at six because of daylight savings, whatever clock it was on, like it was running on. Push back to seven because it's spring forward last night. So technically I had it for an extra hour, but it really didn't make any noise like at all. From like four to seven it cried like twice which is kind of sad because i wanted it to be more needy so i'm actually kind of sad that he's turned off because i kind of i've grown attached to him even though he was kind of annoying it was nice having something that like relied on me and you know what i'm i just miss him i miss him miles come back to me i'm holding his dead corpse right now just for the sake of the video because right now technically you don't have to like support the head or do anything because it's turned off so like right now this would like make him scream. I actually did accidentally do a, what is it called, mishandle? Like, ew, what's on his face? When I was burping him once, he was on my shoulder and then like his head slipped and he started screaming, which was really sad. I definitely cried and <laughs> I hated it. Um, I just felt really bad. That brings me to the tricks that will make this so much easier for you if you're doing this. So first, my first like little tip is the order that which you should try things in. I would suggest trying the bottle first because you just have to hold it up to his mouth and you can see if he needs it or not. If he doesn't, try diaper. And if that doesn't work, then you can try like rocking him because that just means he's fussy. You'll tell, you can tell that he needs burping because his cries will be less of a wail and more like a, like a, 
eh. <laughs> something like that. You'll, you'll be able to tell after a while. Um, when feeding him, you actually don't need to just sit there and like hold the bottle. In real life, I would suggest doing it because a baby at this age would not be able to hold the bottle and the like contact and like, you know, the, the, the feeling of you holding him would create like bonding. That's how it works with real children. But with these, if you want to just leave him in his like him or her in their carrier thing and then you put the bottle on their belly, the head will be tilted up like this. So the bottle's here. It's like touching the mouth. You put a blanket in between the end of the bottle and the feet and it'll just feed it. And then occasionally when you're feeding it, he'll start like screaming. So he'll cry when you feed him and that's fine. He'll just like do like a, eh, you know, and then continue eating. But occasionally he'll just start screaming and at first you'll start panicking because you're like, what did I do? What I found is all you need to do is like shake him, like rock him slightly and continue feeding him and he'll be fine. Or she. These work for the girls, too, I'm assuming. And then my friend... Okay, so you know how I snapped its deck when burping? I told my friend about that. She's also doing this this weekend, and she's like, you don't even need to take it out of the carrier for burping. You just have to rock it. So, like, if you leave the baby in the carrier whenever you need to rock it, you can just rock it in the carrier by, like... Because the carrier rocks. You, like, hold it, and, like, you just... You know what I'm saying. Um, and apparently, if you just rock it when it needs burping, it'll burp because it thinks it's being patted on the back. So that's another tip, I guess. <laughs> then if it wakes you up in the middle of the night and you have siblings, like I do, and their rooms are like right over there, like right, um, they didn't wake up once when my baby went off because the second that it did, I'd like pull up his shirt, put my hand over the speaker and it would muffle the sound. So that's another trick. You can muffle the sound while you're figuring out what to do. And then. I feel like I have more, but I guess not. Um, when you're dressing them, I don't know how your school does it. Mine, my teacher just gave us like real baby clothes to do it. And I don't know if you have to like have the actual real care baby clothes because I know there are like special clothes, but no pants is a good way to go because you could reach the diaper real quick and just quickly change it. It's all good. As for head support, just make sure you always like support the head. I know I got a mishandle and I didn't support the head even though it was just like a little mishap. Please don't deduct points, my teacher, please. I don't want to fail this assessment. That's how you can make your weekend with this baby go smoothly. Sorry if this video is late. I got really tired this past week because of my cap, not cap, <laughs> my show that I talked about. I think, it did I talk about it in my last video? I don't remember. Because of my show that I had to be part of, I had to do stage crew for. And now this little guy, and then during the week I was just exhausted. Like, you know, winter just hits you hard and you get kind of, like, in a rut. Thank you for watching. If you have one of these babies, good luck. And if you don't, thanks for watching anyway. Um, make sure you like, subscribe, comment down below, do all that other YouTube-y stuff, and bye! I hate it this way. I'll be okay, I guess I will stay a lonely ghost. La -da -da.